So guess what? I met Beck the other day and he had Spicy's Nuts, boy. Yeah, and I've got them on my person. So let's do the Spicy Nut video hunt stuff. So yeah, I met Beck the other day at uh, a castle in Cowbridge. A really cool place, I've never actually been there before. Met his friend as well, Benny, nice guy. Did a good job of Beck's video. I had Russell with me too. We uh, went to cook some food in the morning. Did the, the bike reveal bit. So let's talk about the nuts. <laughs> Quite a few people have uh, had spicy nuts in their hands. Yeah, they've ended up with me. The thing is with spicy nuts right now, is it was risky to get them into Wales. The only real people that kind of do anything that I know of in terms of vlogging or product reviews or anything like that is just me and Bic. I can't really hide them in Wales. That's the issue. You know, if I did hide them in Wales, they would literally just be here forever and I can't risk it. I do have a home for them to go to. Um, I don't think anybody's gonna see this coming. <laughs> and that's, I think that's kind of the point, you know, it, it has to be a hunt, but I'm in a position where I can't leave them to be hunted, which is kind of awkward. Now the guy I'm sending them to, uh, to be fair, I don't even think that he thought they were going to even make it up his direction. Let's go this way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'm glad that he's accepted them. The only thing is I'd have to post them up to him. As long as they end up somewhere where I know they're going to end up between like maybe three other people and more opportunity for somebody to get them. Do you know what I mean? So I really want this to carry on. I really do. This is good for us small YouTubers. It shows that we're all kind of connected in some way, shape or form. And we all know somebody somewhere that can use this to their advantage, which is just great. I am gonna go through the trail of people that have held onto these nuts. When I find out who's had them all together and hopefully I'll find them all, I'll put all their links in the description below so you can actually go and go check out their stuff too. How does that sound? Yeah, sound like a plan? So we all grow as a family. Yes. <laughs> Let's go down here, yeah. Of country lane in. It's quite nice today. It's a beautiful day. Where's the horn? There's no way in there, isn't it? So I'm going to find somewhere to park up. I'm going to get the box out, get some pictures of Spicy's Nuts. So this is the box. Inside we have a notebook in a notebook. I hope this has a long story. If you stole it, fuck you. <laughs> you know what, yeah, I hope this has a long run too. Uh, Wolfie picks. I'd like to see where this ends up. Uh, forward all hashtag spicy110 treasure hunt videos to at spicy110sm. Full 480, help yourself to a sticker or two of mine in the pink IKEA bag. There are also a gift of R2D2 and Superman. Uh, I'll go through the bag in a sec. <laughs> London KTM rider, hope you like the view. Ah, I'll have to check that out. Dropped off at Box Hill. Hippo drones, eight ball valve caps. Oh my god. There's some stickers and stuff. Sweet, when was that? Did he put a date? He hasn't put a date, but he put love this game. The nose that knows. I don't have any stickers, only business cards. Oh, when you find them, please message me on Insta or YouTube. Big Pezza, AKA Pezza the Big. Now I have the nuts. <laughs> Stolen from Big Pezza after an epic fight. <laughs> Used and abused by Epic Adam. Yep, we all love Adam. Moving on. <laughs> The last one in the book is from Big Mitchum. They were sent to Big by Adam. Uh, and he wants to see your tits. Yeah. So these are the nuts in question. 
Right, here in the bag we have, let's have a look, everything that was described in the book, I should think. Uh, some stuff that Vic put in there, that card there. Uh, what else we got? We've got some Hippodrome stickers. We've got some spam cards. TNTK, the nose are nose. Okay, what else we got? We've got that one, which is Adam's sticker. Oh, cheap ass, he only put one in there. <laughs> there's Purple Monkey, I've already got one of these. Now there's the Superman. Wasn't there a Spider-Man? I'm sure he said there was a Spider-Man. And then we've got the Magic 8 Ball Dust Caps covers. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do you reckon they look good on there? <laughs> I'll leave them in there, that's fine. And uh, there's a sticker transfer that Bick put in as well. Indian motorcycles. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, my contribution to the box. Okay, I've got some spam cards and a couple of stickers. They go in there. Well, pretty much what everybody else does, I think. I am gonna put in, uh, not my wallet, in celebration of the new bike, which I am really enjoying at the moment. I'm going to put in five envelopes and in each envelope there's a key tag and a sticker and a spam card or whatever because I, I want this to go further than just like a couple of people I, you know not that these will encourage people to hunt for the box but yeah, I'd like them to find something that they can take and use and enjoy yeah uh, what else if you do find the box and you do take a key tag, please only take one because, yeah, the Motor Riding community is a good community and nobody likes to take the piss, do they? You know, and it's good to share. It's good to share. And on that note, I'd like to end it there and I will catch you on the next one. Enjoy.